Hi there, and welcome back to SpreadsheetPoint.com. In this brief video, we are going to explore the Excel filter function and how it can save you time. We are going to go over what it does, how you can use it to quickly sort expenses in a spreadsheet, and some other ways you could use this function. Let's dive right in. I've set up a simple expenses table. You'll see the date, the category, the amount, and the description. So what the filter function does is it allows you to extract some data from a specific range or array based on a given criteria. This function will actually return a, a full array of values that automatically spills onto all of the neighboring cells, making it highly efficient for analyzing the data in a fast and effective way. Let me show you what I mean. Let's say I have this list of expenses and we could assume that this could go all the way down for the complete year. So there could be, you know, hundreds or thousands of rows of data. Let's say I just wanted to see all of the expenses that were listed under the utilities category. You're going to open up your filter function. And let's say we have the same headings here. So I'm going to use filter equals filter. Now the array is this, your complete data set. So I'm going to highlight all of this data. You would go right to the bottom of your data set. Now I'm going to tell it what I want it to include. You'll see the include here. I want it to include these cells equals dining. I want to see how much I'm spending going out for dinner. And I'm going to close that. Now you'll see it, it brings back this date as a number. So I'm going to just format this date. So it's the same format as the date over here. So you'll see this formula actually brings in all of this data just by using this one cell with this filter function. This brings in all of the data that is in the category of dining. If you wanted to see utilities, you see how it brings it in just like that. So these two, two dates are not formatted as a date yet. So I will format that those as a date. So this is quite a powerful function in that it returns an array of data. One thing to note, I'm going to copy this formula here. Let's delete it. Let's say you have data in here already. I'll put the formula back. You'll see it gives you this spill error. It's because there's data in here. So these cells adjacent to the formula have to be empty in order for it to work. This is how you can use the filter function to help sort and display relevant information in your expenses. I hope you found this video helpful. For more advice, check out SpreadsheetPoint.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.